Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is camera field of view? Let's run through our example. Right now, I have the default field of view, which is set to ninety degrees on a camera. When I adjust my slider here, we're going to go down to a twenty-five degree, or up to one hundred and fifty. And both of these are set using the set field of view nodes, which we'll cover now. So the field of view, if we pull up our character, we go to camera, and then we pull up the details panel under camera settings. If we're using a projection mode of perspective, we have access to the field of view. Now, if you change the options here, five degrees is the lowest it allows us to do on the slider and 170 is the largest amount it allows us to do on the slider, with 90 being the default. And field of view is basically your horizontal field of view in degrees, or how much you're going to be able to see left and right on your, on your screen from your camera in your perspective view. Now the node itself is pretty simple. It's simply set field of view. However, it comes off of the camera component. If we uncheck this, and we hit compile, we're going to run into an error. We type in field of view and spell it correctly. It's not going to show up. Field of view is context sensitive. It is inside of the camera itself. Set field of view. However, there is another version called camera component set field of view. And that's this one right here. These both will accomplish the same thing. Basically, this is a function that will set the field of view property on the camera, that property being right here. And this is simply talking to the camera itself and changing the property directly. So this one is a function that wraps this change right here. Why they have two, I don't know, but they will both accomplish the same thing. Just make sure you pull it off of your camera component. And all I'm doing is getting the camera off my character and then setting the field of view. And that's pretty much it. And when we run this, you can see I've got my slider here clamped between 25 and 150. You can, of course, change it to whatever you want. The recommendations are 5 and 190. 170? What was that? Let's, let's double check that. 5 and 170. You can probably go higher than that. Um, let's see what happens if you do 200. Uh, it looks like it may, oh no, actually I'm setting it to 90, so that's not going to help. So let's go into here, to my slider, and let's set the max to 250. Let's just see what happens. Never actually tried it above anything sane. Okay, 250. Okay, yeah, it looks like there's a reason 170 is the limit. After that, it looks like after 180, you basically start wrapping around yourself, which makes sense because 180 degrees is basically a 360 degree circle. 360 degrees is a 360 degree circle. 180 is half of that, which means when you go past 180, you're basically going to flip around on yourself. And you're, as you can see, you're looking basically upside down because you're flipping around. That's actually kind of cool. Set it to 250. Now you flipped your character, your camera, like instantly. You go woo, like that. Anyways, that's how you can set the field of view at runtime on your camera. You can change it, of course, inside the camera itself here, field of view or use these set nodes. You can, of course, also get it. Pulling off of your camera, just type in field of view, and you can find the get field of view node, which is part of the class camera component.